Hi, so it's holiday season and it's time to eat. That's usually what people think, but it's not. I want to change that. So here it is, is that every time I talk to clients, they're like, oh, the holidays are coming up. You know, I can't, I can't get on a diet now because it's, it's holiday time. It's time to eat. Because, you know, we have all these events. We have these things to go to. But guys, guys, let me tell you, you can enjoy those things, but be choosy about it. What, what, what is it that all of a sudden we've done as a society and we decided, oh, we're going to these parties and these events and it's free food in essence, so we should just eat it all. Or maybe we paid really expensive tickets to an event and well, we got to eat it all. But remember, we're feeding ourselves and it's our fuel. So today, I want to share with you a couple of tips that I want you to use when you go to a party, when you go to an event, if it's a holiday festivity, if it's a free-for-all food fest. You got to take care of yourself and you've got to eat foods for yourself. Number one, one, don't go to the party hungry, guys. I know you. Don't get there hungry. Eat something before you go. Eat a good quality protein and fat before you get there so that you're not famished. And that way you can pick without feeling like, oh my God, I got to fill up my plate because I'm so hungry, which is what we tend to do. So that was number one, right? Number two, drink a ton of water. Fill yourself up with water, guys. We need to flush out all the toxins from all the other stuff that we're eating and consuming. And at the same time, too, it's going to make us feel a little bit fuller, so we're not going to want to indulge as much, and that's an important thing. Then number three, watch the sugars. But remember, as I've mentioned many, many times, it's not just sugar. It's sugar, flour, dairy, and alcohol. All those things break down and metabolize as a sugar, which means that if you want to enjoy the wine, enjoy the wine, but don't have it with pasta, bread, and cream sauce, right? That's too much sugar. So what I want you to do is I want you to watch your sugars, okay? And then, and then, how do, what do we do now? Okay, so number four, last one, is I want you to make sure that when you're choosing your foods, you're choosing foods that are higher in protein, higher in good quality fats, okay? And you're minimizing those sugars because your protein and fat is what's gonna, A, they're gonna fill you up quicker and they're gonna sustain you for a longer period of time. So that, my friends, today is your tip, okay? I want you to stick to it because there is no reason to gain weight during the holidays. That's just something that somehow we conjured up because of all the parties and festivities, but no one is forcing you to eat all that food. And let me tell you what, the reality is it's really not rude to say, I'm sorry, but I don't eat that. I've done it all my life. I'm a picky eater. What can I say? I'm going to admit it here. I'm admitting it. I'm a super picky eater. And I have gone to parties where I've said, oh, you know, I've pushed something aside. Or I said, you know, I really don't eat that. I'm sorry. Or I'm allergic to that, even though I may not like it. Might not be an allergy, but I might not like it. But it doesn't matter. I've done what I've had to do. And I don't think I've insulted anybody. And if I did insult someone, it's because they probably weren't meant to be in my tribe anyways. So I want you to think about you. You are a finely tuned engine. What you put in your body creates the foundation of your health. So think about that next time you hit that food buffet and decide, oh, what am I going to eat? Let's not eat because we think we deserve it or eat because, oh, it's so pretty and so good and I really shouldn't be able to have that There's just this once. Let's not do that to ourselves because, guys, that's just weakening your foundation. It really is. And with disease as rampant as it is right now, we don't need a weak foundation. We need a strong one. So make it happen. Eat the right foods. Eat for nutrition. And peace out, guys. Talk to you later.